In this video, I'm talking all about the new Premiere Pro quick export setting, so let's get into it. Adobe recently rolled out a new update to Premiere Pro, that is the Premiere Pro 2021 version. And with this version, with this update, came a whole world of new features. And one of those features is the quick export feature. And that's what I'm focusing on today. I'm talking all about the quick export feature because this is going to save you so much time and so much effort exporting from Premiere. So normally when you export, you would go all the way up into file, export media and then you would work through all of these settings in here to get your video looking how you want it but that can be time consuming and if you're new to premiere then that can be a bit overwhelming so instead let's use the quick export feature so we'll go up to the top right of premiere we'll select quick export and that should load this window so you've got file name and location so if we select that we can rename this to export and we can place this wherever we want by going into this menu and then we've got the presets here, so we can go preset, match source, active high bitrate, adaptive medium bitrate, adaptive low bitrate. So high is obviously going to be your highest quality there, and low is going to be your lowest quality. Then you can see you've got a 4K export, a 1080 HD export, a 720 export, and then the 480 SD wide export. So I'm going to go for match source, adaptive high bitrate. And as you can see, we've got H.264, 1920 by 1080, 25 frames per second, 15.9 megabits per second. And then the video is 11 seconds duration. We've got stereo audio and then the estimated file size is going to be 22 megabytes. So we'll just go ahead and press the export button. Premiere will take a second to encode that sequence. And there you go. The video has now been exported. You can navigate through to your finder and you've got the video quickly exported from Premiere without the hassle of going into the normal export window. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.